Hello guys, welcome to your 70th lesson in this Vue.js course. And in this lesson, we are going to be looking at something we should have looked at a while back, which is computed properties and how to actually work with computer properties in Vue.js. As long as I will also tell you why you should actually opt in and use computed properties when necessary. So let's dive right in. Okay, so I have a simple app set up here and in which we have some data. We have first name Naruto, last name Uzumaki, age 16, then ninjutsu score, taijutsu score and genjutsu score. Everything are set at zero and I basically use interpolation to output them out here. Uh, how which we are familiar with and we basically have a click event which instead of creating a separate method i just added the function here the functionality here and it just increased ninjutsu score by one and taijutsu score also and genjutsu score so let's see how it looks like so we have this which looks like this when we click on this it increases the ninjutsu score and this increases the score for the taijutsu and this for genjutsu okay before we actually make use of all these scores to fully grasp what computed properties are and okay how they work the first thing i'm going to do is let's try to output the name so i'm going to create a div here and i'm going to say okay let's have a p and i want to output the full name which is um naruto uzumaki so the way i do that would be there are various ways we can do that. I can just do this and um, do something such as, okay, first name and space and then add last name. Okay, this should work. And another thing I think we can do is, so let's, we can just instead remove this and let's clear this. And inside of here, we can use uh, template strings and then just say first name and then add a space and we can just say last name okay so let's save that and we should see both of them working okay we can see it right here let me add a bit of, of padding of margin rather okay and i'm going to say all right that should work fine okay so we can see naruto right here and we can see uzumaki this works fine this works well but a better way of doing this is um, instead of doing something like this is making use of computed properties and let me show you what that is so instead of adjusting maybe this return and creating a property on its own what we're going to do is i'm just going to say computed okay computed and it's also going to be an object and inside of this object then we can have okay maybe a full name it's going to be such as a function but then it's going to return something it's going to return a statement it's going to return this dot first name this plus first name and instead i'm going to just put this use a template string and i'm going to use this dot first name and this dot last name all right let's save that and the way we actually use our computed value is we're going to just call it right here so i'm going to remove this and i'm going to do something such as full name but one thing you don't do is you don't call it as a as a method if i should save this and i should come to my app you should see an error because what essentially happens is view tries to look through okay this particular component and tries to look for the method and inside of the method it tries to run this particular full name whenever view is actually um building up this component it returns this computed property not as a function but instead as a data as a variable okay so basically i just have to do something like this and let's save that and we sh that should work okay let me refresh this okay we can also see naruto uzumaki here and by making use of computed properties and you might think why exactly should i make use of computed properties what are the advantages of making use of computed properties well the number one advantage is the fact that computed properties are much more performance and they are cached okay so it's it's way wiser to use make use of computed properties when you can instead of manually doing something like this 
or let's say this might not even um be very much relevant here but when it comes to maybe we are calculating making a particular calculation or trying to determine a value based on another value and since the way computer property work is it's basically works reliant on any of the data we have right here inside of our app let's give let me give us one more example so right down here i'm just going to paste in a code so let's paste this in and let me explain what we have here so basically i have just a div with three paragraphs and what we are trying to do is we are going to multiply this age with the ninjutsu score okay so remember this already increases whenever we click on the button the ninjutsu score each of our scores and basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to okay automatically call a function so that whenever this a method rather whenever this updates each each of these dependencies update let's say the ninjutsu automatically this would give us the value of age uh, multiplied by ninjutsu but we've not created our methods yet so let me do that and i'm going to say methods and this remember it's also an object and i'm just going to quickly paste it pasting some method i created okay so let me comment this out for now so you understand what is going on let's save and let's come back to our app all right scrolling down right here we can see we have age times ninjutsu score is okay doesn't give us anything what about if we increase this okay that's not increasing okay i think that's because we should return okay so this should return a value Okay, return and this should also return a value and given the fact that the return value is basically what we want to add pretty here so let's see if that works whenever this ninjutsu score is increased we're going to see it being updated here so let's keep increasing let's keep increasing okay so basically 16 times 4 64 and basically it's going to keep increasing what about for taijutsu okay whenever we click on this this will automatically call a function trigger a function here and it's basically going to run this and same with this okay we can see that our functions they work very well and we are being we are able to output something right here by making use of a function uh calling invoking a method directly or a function <laughs> whichever now this actually presents with some issue because we are not actually meant to do it and one thing one rule of thumb is whenever you are using um this string interpolation this way you shouldn't try to put any complex logic in inside of it and one reason let me show you is if i should remove this particular console.log that we have here and let's see all right i'm going to restart my app right here and we can see even at the onset whenever when we restarted it's basically logged increased ninjutsu increased taijutsu and increased genjutsu this basically shows that these three functions actually ran immediately our app was initialized okay what if we increase this we can see the three of three of these function were actually triggered which is not performer in this case might not seem like a big deal but let's say we have a larger app that um, has lots of different data this presents an issue now a better way to actually do this is by let me console.log back okay is by making use of computed properties so basically what i'm just going to do is i'm going to rename this method to computed okay and um let's bring this and put it here so i'm basically going to remove the old one we have here okay so we are returning all of our computer properties and remember computer properties when making use of them you don't add parentheses you don't add your brackets and i'm just going to remove that and let's see okay so let's also console we can try console.log also okay so to be sure that this only runs when this increases and all of that so let's refresh and okay we are still seeing this here but let's call this we can only see we can see that this ninjutsu only runs only runs when this is being clicked when this is being increased when this variable here increases what about the taijutsu score okay this only um this function is only called whenever this data changes and same with this genjutsu score so we can see that 
this actually is way better than what we have before and another thing if you come to our view developer tools here we can see our computed values here and increasing these let's see okay let's refresh that okay at the moment we can see is 336 so that is that on computed properties and i'm going to see you in the next lesson